Welcome to part 6 of my guide to building an Xbox powered arcade cabinet. We're going to fit the screen. For these cabs you want a 15 inch or 17 inch flat screen. I prefer to use the 17 inch monitors. These simply come with uh, rear mounts. And then we have a monitor bar which we can fasten to the monitor with bolts, there's four bolts now I'm just going to draw center lines so I know where the middle of the monitor bar is so I can align the screen centrally the mounts on this monitor are 100 mil apart there's Visa 100. So my drill holes will be at 100 millimeter spacing. Now the monitor I was planning to use, a 17 inch one, I dropped it and it's broken. So I'm having to use this 15 inch TV instead. now fix the monitor bar to the back of the monitor. This doesn't have proper mounts on this LCD TV so I'm just screwing through really carefully. Now if you lift the thing up you know that's pretty good. For fitting the monitor it sometimes helps to leave the stand on. See that I'm doing that here. Okay, so the monitor's aligned, touching the speaker panel and touching the control panel. Spin the cabinet round. I'm happy that the monitor's lined up so I can secure the monitor bar with screws to the battens. And then we can take this stand off. I'm finished with that now. I need to remove the monitor before I can get the stand off. This one has a bunch of screws. Sometimes it's not that easy. And I can now go back into the cab. set up power for the monitor so this is a standard monitor lead I'm gonna snip that I'm gonna connect one end to a junction box and that'll go inside the cab and the other end will go off to the mains Wiring junction box is quite easy, so you've got live, neutral and earth. Just match them up. Okay, 
So you've got one end goes to your screen, the other end will go to the power. Connect it up. We can also add the Xbox power to this as well. We cut that cable. And then you've got typically brown and a blue. If you had any other mains powered things such as a strip light they could also connect up here. That way you've got one cable that goes off to your mains. So now we're going to connect up the video. So, there's a couple of options with this monitor. We've got a VGA cable and we've got the AV cables. I won't really want to show you both options. So we'll start off with the AV cables, kind of regular connection from an Xbox to a telly. Turn it on. So we've all seen this before. That's what the gameplay looks like and the, the video looks like through standard AV cables. Another option if you want to connect through VGA is to use a converter box. These run off 5 volts power so they can connect up to your Xbox nicely. Plug a VGA cable in one. And your yellow video cable from your Xbox in the other. And there you go. these VGA converters come with a load of buttons. You can change some of the video aspects, brightness, contrast, you can also change the mode, so I can switch between resolutions. So I hope you found this video useful, thanks for watching guys.